Hey guys, uh, this is Sapphiron once again uh, with the life of Sapphiron, a new uh, YouTube series I'm trying to create in my own personal journey to uh, enlightenment and uh, fulfillment in my life. So where we left off was uh, basically my my mom and how powerful of an individual she was and it's a perfect segue right into the salt monument. Um, so the salt monument. Salt monument is a monument to humanity. It's built to uh, be a center point for all of humanity to come together and have a focal point to really understand and and see with with a living piece of art, um, just how insignificant, ah. all right, we can do this, insignificant, <laughs> we are, um, yeah, seven billion people, I, I just really, like, I, I don't think you can comprehend how many people that is, um, un unless you really see it, so to give you an idea, uh, seven billion, I think, is roughly around 2,700 pounds of salt now. Over, well over a ton of salt. Um, that's a lot of salt. It's a lot of grains. That's a lot of beating hearts in our world. And, and it's a powerful, powerful piece. Um, and I'll, you know, I can't wait to show you guys. And I wish I had more pictures. I only have the two pictures that I've been able to, you know, scrounge that are digital. And um, I'm trying to get my my uh, photo album back with all of her her artwork, so I can start sharing that. And and I'm I'm just doing the best I can. And we don't have to wait too long because the Salt Monument is coming back. Um, and and it's exciting. And I, I think it's more needed in the, our world than it ever has. Um, so my understanding of the Salt Monument <clears throat> is it's far beyond, you know, it was far ahead of what my mom, what my mom's generation or my mom's lifetime. <clears throat> it was a, uh, it was a piece that was meant for now. And, and I think she knew that. And, and she created it anyway because she knew nobody else would in the meantime. And she was right. And, and it's, it's a big gift for me because I, I get the honor to try to actually bring it to the world. And I'm excited to see what that brings. Um, so what the Salt Monument is, is it's a giant four foot by four foot plexiglass cube tilted on its side. Okay, so it's like a diamond right suspended in midair but there's a metal base a triangle base that keeps it up <clears throat> and there's uh, tetrahedrons so basically like triangle uh, moving pieces that allow you to open it up and pour salt in the top and and take salt out from the bottom and and so basically for 10 years of my mom's life uh, she would literally welcome and say goodbye to every single person who lived and died that day uh, for, for over 10 years. She did that. Um, it was all based on weight, so that's why she was counting salt. Um, she had an atomic scale that would weigh how many, you know, so 100 grains weigh this, 1,000 grains weigh this. You know, and, and eventually you get the hard data where you can just calculate, you know, 7 billion into 2,700 pounds or w whatever it is. Um, and, and yeah, like what? I just want to know. I, I really do want to know what her inspiration was or what the, the light that was like, this is, this is it. This is what the world needs. This is, it was so insightful and so ahead of her time. And, and very hard uh, for her because she knew how powerful this piece was and society wouldn't accept it or embrace it um, or support it. And it was sad. So my mom went through most of her life 
trying to bring her life's work to the world and only um, failing again and again and again. Um, always having faith that something would, would change, always having faith that at some point it would be accepted and supported and embraced. Um, but always continuing to kind of hit these like big old roadblocks. So, you know, her vision was to create a sanctuary, um, you know, basically on a wildlife preserve or something like that, where, where everybody is welcome despite age, race, you know, no restrictions whatsoever. Just like if you're called to come here, please come and join and, and, and celebrate the remembrance of everyone who lived and died today. Um, and, and yeah, so she, she kept trying to find funding. She kept trying to find, um, support and, and she couldn't. And, and each time she thought she found something, you know, that she always had enough support. There was always enough to keep her going. Um, you know, so, so until she died, it was... Like somebody would just come out of nowhere as a guardian angel and just be like, hey, I got your rent for the next few years. Just you focus on bringing this, you know, and, and like, thank you for, for creating this for our world. And I want to support you. I have enough money to support you. Um, I believe in you. And so she always, like throughout her life, she, or throughout the Salt Monument's life, she always had these people that would really come save her from the brink of, of losing everything, I guess. And, and what a beautiful, what a beautiful gift. It, it really is an amazing uh, piece. It's something I really can't explain to you as far as the significance or the impact or... Um, how truly profound it is to be in presence and, and especially witness the observance. It's, it's absolutely, it, yeah, indescribable uh, as far as just how powerful it is. Um, so I really look forward to finally bringing it to the world um, no later than, um, yeah, this summer <laughs> here in Boulder, Colorado at uh, the Naropa Gallery. Uh, thanks to my own guardian angel that came into my life to save me. Um, and it's going to be a fun journey. So thank you. And, and I'm going to kind of go back to uh, when I was 18 and got out of the monastery and kind of start going on from there. Um, truly appreciate you guys hanging out, listening, watching my story, and uh, can look forward to continuing the journey of the life of Sapphire. Um, thanks, guys. Appreciate it.